Let's look at both thermodynamic and kinetic influences on a chemical reaction. So here's a simple chemical reaction, A going to B. And this is an elementary chemical reaction, which means what I've written here is actually what happens on a molecular level. So that means this is a first order chemical reaction, and I can write the rate for the forward reaction as the change in concentration of A over a given change in time, and that will be Kf times the A concentration. First order in A for the forward direction. The reverse direction, B reacting to form A, I can write the reverse rate as the change in B concentration for a given change in time, and that is the reverse rate constant, Kr, times the B concentration. Both of these first order in kinetics. Now, what about the thermodynamics? Well, thermodynamics applies at equilibrium. At equilibrium, the rate of the forward reaction and the rate of the reverse reaction are the same. That defines our equilibrium. So at equilibrium, the macroscopic concentrations of A and B don't change, but they interconvert. They just interconvert at equal rates. So let's set the forward and reverse rate constants equal. And if we do that, what we can do is solve for the concentration of B over the concentration of A. And when we do that, we find the concentration of B over the concentration of A is equal to the rate constant for the forward reaction over the rate constant for the reverse reaction. Now these aren't the rates, these are just the rate constants. And when the A and B reach equilibrium, this is the equilibrium constant. So the equilibrium constant is given by the forward rate constant over the reverse rate constant. So here we have a link between thermodynamics and kinetics for an elementary chemical reaction.